Do you attempt to create powerful emotional experiences for individuals so they then feel indebted to you? So I suppose we would have to firstly define in this question what a powerful emotional experience is. I believe that the majority of people are so shut down emotionally that they don't even know what a powerful emotional experience is. And in fact, the majority of people, when it, when it comes to crying for five minutes, for example, they feel that's too, that's too hard to do. The majority of people that I've met uh, in our seminars, just for them to cry for 10 seconds is an overwhelming emotional experience. Now, I feel that mankind's current definition of what is an overwhelming emotional experience is very, very limited. It's very limited because most people on the planet are attempting with all of their might to avoid any emotional experience that might overwhelm them. They only want to have good emotions too. They want to be selective. So they want to have emotions that are positive. They want all of those to be overwhelming, of course, but they do not understand that they also have a whole group of emotions that are negative, what they believe are negative, such as fear, shame, sadness, grief, those kind of emotions. And, and they do not want to be overwhelmed by those emotions at any time. Now, I believe for a person to become a whole person, they have to allow all emotion. They need to allow all of the positive emotional experiences and allow them at times to overwhelm them. And they also need to allow all of the negative emotional experiences and allow them to overwhelm them as well. Once they learn to expand emotionally, they won't be afraid of emotions. They'll also find clarity once they feel emotion. So I definitely do encourage people to feel their emotions to get to a point of clarity with about, about how they feel. Now, if you're saying, do I want to create that in my seminars? No, I don't. The reason why I don't want to create that in my seminars is because the seminars are not the best place for a person to feel their emotions. The best place for a person to feel their emotions is in, is in the privacy of their own location or their own home or their own protective environment. That's the best time for them to feel their true emotions. So what I would prefer people to do is to, to feel their emotions fully, particularly all of their negative emotions, to feel all of their negative emotions fully in that environment. The more they do that, the less of those emotions they'll carry around with themselves in their day-to-day -day activity, in their day-to-day -day life. And as a result of that, they'll have more emotionally positive experiences in their day-to-day -day activity, in their day-to-day -day life. But I do not feel that society needs to be afraid of these so-called negative emotions. Society does not need to be afraid of grief as much as it is. Society does not need to be afraid of even the emotion of fear or the emotion of shame. You know, none of these emotions, we do not need to be afraid of any of these emotions because all of these emotions are a natural part of the human experience. And as we allow their release, from ourselves, we have less and less of them. So I encourage people to connect emotionally. Now, in my seminars, I finish up stating truths to people about their personal lives. The reason why is that when a person asks me questions, they will often ask me a question about their personal life, and so I will make a statement to them about their personal life. Now, the statement of truth given to another person often causes that person to feel an emotion. And as a result of that, in that particular moment, they are overwhelmed by the emotion of somebody stating the truth to them about their personal life. That is what often does happen in a seminars, and that's why often people in the seminars have a finish up having a tear or two. Now, I would call it having a tear or two, not being overwhelmed emotionally, because if they are truly going to allow themselves to feel the grief of their personal experience, they will find they might need to cry for an hour or two about that particular thing that I've mentioned to them for a few minutes, rather than just having a few dribbles coming out of their eyes uh, while I'm speaking to them about it. I believe those people need to revisit what I've said to them, go home and feel the experience of what I've said to them. And the, the reason why they need to do that is if they feel the experience, they will release the emotional memory of the experience from themselves 
and then they will feel more love more truth more secure more safe they'll have less grief and so forth so that's what I would encourage people to do and that's what I do encourage people to do